Okay, um, I'm going to set up the integral for uh, how do you determine the magnetic field due to a long straight wire. So first we need a long straight wire. And let's say it has current going this way, I, and, and that's fine. Okay. I want to find the magnetic field right here and location, um, what does the book use? X. Okay, that's fine. They call it X. That's, I think that's the better. That's, that's the x-axis, and that's the y-axis, and z is out of the board. Okay, so uh, we'll start with the magnetic field due to a piece of wire. It's going to be mu naught over four pi uh, i delta l cross r hat over r squared. That's that's the law of valence of r. And instead of using QV, we have I delta L. Okay, so, but in this case, you can't just say, oh, I'm going to put in my values here, because, look, if this is my piece that I'm talking about right there, a little piece, that's much further away than this piece. So they're all different pieces, different distances away. So let me call this um, dy, and then I have, I still have the same current. And then this is going to be R. And then I, I would make r hat would be in the same direction as that. Okay. And so I'm going to get a magnetic field. Now, let's just find the direction of that magnetic field. If that's I delta L and that's r hat, then uh, the magnetic contribution due to that one piece is going to be into the board. So I'll draw it like that as a vector going into the board, and that'll be dB. Um, it, it, all of the vectors. No matter where I'm at, if I'm down here, I have I, and then that's R hat, I'm sorry, and I cross uh, R hat also, also is going to be into the board. All the pieces are in the same direction, so that's, that's nice. So let's write an expression for dB. dB equals mu naught over 4 pi. Uh, now I'll just write this as uh, the Z direction. Let me write this as a Z direction because we already know it's in the Z direction. It's actually in the negative Z direction. If that's X and that's Y, that's negative Z. So it's negative mu naught over 4 pi. Uh, I dy r hat, we've already taken that into account, over r squared. Okay, but we don't, you know, this doesn't change, that doesn't change. That's my uh, integration variables, but that does change. So we need to get this in terms of other variables. So here is uh, r. This is x and that's y. So r squared equals uh, x squared plus y squared. Okay, so we can put that in and then I get dbz equals uh, negative mu naught over 4 pi i dy over x squared plus y squared. I think that's right. Okay, um, now I can integrate both sides and I get the total magnetic field equals the integral from what? If, I, if it's a long wire, then I'm going to go from negative infinity to infinity of y. This is okay because look, x doesn't change in this problem. x is always the same. Uh, so we should get an answer with x, but it shouldn't have y in there. So I get uh, negative mu naught over 4 pi i dy x squared plus y squared. Okay, now how do you integrate this? Now that isn't the easiest, the trivialist integral because look, if I, I have y on the bottom, I have y squared on the bottom, I don't have dy on the bottom top, so you can't do u substitution. I suspect it's trig, it's a trig substitution, but let's see. Oh wait, I made a mistake here. Ah! I did make a mistake. This is my mistake. I have the direction right, but that angle does change. Okay, so uh, if I want to write dl 
cross r hat, I can write, I know the direction, so I don't need that. I need the magnitude. It's going to be uh, delta L, r hat, magnitude of r hat, times the sine of theta. Okay, so that's dy and that's 1. So it's going to be dy sine theta, where theta is the angle between these two, like that. Okay, so um, <clears throat> it's the same as right here. Let's use that angle right there, theta. So I, I, I would have a sine theta in this. Uh, and I, and I, if theta changes as I move, so I need to get that in terms of x and y. So if this is y and that's x, then sine of theta would be uh, opposite over hypotenuse, so that's going to be x over x square root of x squared plus y squared. I don't want to use r. So if I put that in here, then this becomes, let me move some constants out, negative mu naught over 4 pi uh, i, and then I get dy, and then I'm going to get x. And then on the bottom I have x squared plus y squared, and then I have another x squared plus y squared to the 1 half, so that's x squared plus y squared to the 3 halves. And this is from negative infinity. And the x comes out. Okay, that's right. Okay, so that's the interval that we would you could then look up in that integral table. Okay, and then you do get uh, you get the result that we said before. So, but that's how you set it up.